Hello viewers, Super GT here. Welcome back to the fun. The fun of Gran Turismo Sport. Now the main thing, the main theme, I think of this video, is just how difficult this game is getting. And um, we have a, a serious flashback to kick things off. Who remembers this incident? Getting blocked off in a qualifying lap. Wasn't a good moment in my life. In fact, I hit rock bottom after that. But the main theme of this video really is um, it's just how difficult the game is in terms of the competition. Now normally in this lobby, this uh, lobby that I'm normally in, uh, which is normally second split or third split, I normally get in top 10, but I'm finding it a lot more difficult now. Um, I think the standards are getting high, not necessarily all the driving standards, but people are just quicker and harder to race against these days. So I am finding it harder to get good results, so I do need to improve slightly. Or more than slightly. So you can see they are qualified 17th, uh, so really not good at all. So this is the Jaguar in Group 4 Manufacturers Cup, this is to be precise. So let's see what we can do. The first lap there, and nothing really happens, it normally doesn't around a lot of tracks because of the rolling start. Up the inside of this guy, he kind of just was really nice to me. One of the nicest guys around. I kind of just put my nose there. Didn't really have any right to get position, but he kind of just left me loads of space. So I'll quite happily take it. Thank you very much for that. So kicking off nicely with a nice little overtake there. This guy gets run out. And we gain another position up the inside then. As we go into the left sweeping turn, turn four. Difficult turn that one. Onto the back straight. And uh, it's really, really quite difficult to overtake around Brands Hatch especially on this back section here. You do have this long straight. And the Jaguar does have good, uh, good straight line speed. So you do have to really make the most of that if you can. And then just really just hook into the slipstream for this part here because it's not really an overtaken kind of area. Sitting in 15th, it's going okay. Well, I mean, it's not really, let's face it. I'm, I'm in 15th. I need to be in the top one, ideally. But with the likes of LZR Thomas in here. Uh, it's, it's not going to be easy. RC Snake in second is driving the Jaguar, so I have no excuses really. If he can do it, then anyone can do it. And again, TRL Lightning. I mean, the likes of these guys at the top, they can drive anything probably and just win. So, well, it's, it's hard to match them, let's put it that way. Someone like, uh, someone like uh, Lightning can just be an absolute beast in anything, and it's quite puzzling to be honest. So things are getting a little bit bunched up now, up behind the Alpha. And I almost got overtaken around the outside. I'm going to look up the inside into the final turn. You can see the difference in speed between the Jaguar and the Alpha. He managed to hold it around the outside. Tiny bit of contact halfway through the turn. It's going to be a drag race down the main straight between the pair of us. The Jaguar again, good straight line speed. The Alpha, really not good straight line speed at all. So we're going to go up the inside and take one more position. A little bit of a queue forming up ahead uh, between some Peugeots. We've got a Peugeot blockade for top 10 position. So a bit of a queue forming now. And uh, we are in a British circuit, so we know how to queue over here. And we're doing that right now up behind the Peugeots. Coming through Paddock Hill Bend, down the dip, back up the other side. The space opens up. And from quite a long way back, I suppose, got up the inside and uh, the Volkswagen just left the room. So I gladly took the invitation, took the position up to 12. So the race is going actually okay here. And don't worry, we're not going for that silly no stops uh, strategy. We're going to actually stop in this race. As we come through again, turn four. The blockade is continuing. They've been side by side for pretty much the entire lap, blocking off the whole track. So the Audi goes to the left. Again, double slipstream from the two Peugeots now. The double suck has been activated up the hill. Into the right, I've just tapped the Peugeot. So I am going to just slowly back off here a little bit. I think he's on the back foot. That Peugeot really suffers from tyre wear. Tyre degradation is absolutely shocking in that thing. I thought it was bad in this car. But I think in that car it's about 48,000 times worse. And I measured it, it's, 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 it's exactly 48,000. And just a Peggy 18 warning here, because what we're about to see is quite filthy. Just tap this guy wide. 
and go up the inside. Yeah, just, that's, how, that's how it's done. And you think, yeah, that's got to be a penalty. But no, obviously it was absolutely clean. Clean move there, according to the game. So we'll continue. Um, well, yeah, you know, just, that's just how it is. Amazing pit entry there, smacking off the walls either side. And obviously I didn't do enough fuel saving because I come out here in 17th. So all the hard work we just done was pretty much undone as we drop down back into back to where we started back in 17 this guy tries to send himself to the shadow realm kind of only half does it so back into six deep and that's lap number six and by lap number eight we managed to catch up with a couple of people got back past a couple of positions as well because of different strategies people pitting a little bit later and uh, here moving up into 12 past the corvette which looks like it's struggling at this point of the race as we almost go wide there and you can see a little bit of a queue forming behind so i was catching up with the corvette and towing along with me a couple of uh, a couple of other people so it was building up to a nice little crescendo at the end of this race the uh, the peugeot who i shafted absolutely shafted earlier is uh, serving his penalty the the, the justice or the lack of justice is too damn high right now so, sitting in 11th as we come up to lap number 11, it's a bit of deja vu looking up the inside of the Alpha, and he was really slow then. This uh, not pretty move. We're going to try to back out halfway through. Not pretty. And he's just got basically no straight line speed, that thing. And I think we were three abreast looking at the radar. Look how slow he's going. I think he might be saving fuel quite drastically because he's not really uh, saved enough up to this point. And uh, the the Audi with a nice little tidy cut back on me there. Good job. And it's going to take the position at the Druid's hairpin. So, lap number 11 into 11th position again. Can we go about getting that position back and just get a 10th? A 10th would be nice. Start at 17th. Not any chance really of getting anything more than this. Unless everyone else ahead completely bottles it. Which I'm not expecting. Because they're not me. So, into the slipstream once again. Which side is he going to go? He's going to go to the right-hand side, go defensive. Ooh, not very much space to go down the left, but we have got the run around the outside. It's not going to work. I'm on the marbles, and that's not a good place to be. Just a complete lack of grip when you get on those rubber marbles. Just come through, sweeping right-hander up towards Sheen Curve. Difficult turn, this one. Many people send themselves to the realm. There's a common Shadow Realm portal here. But no one's doing it today. Not quite, anyway. So one more overtaking opportunity on the lap, which is into the final turn. So again, tucked into that slipstream. We're going to keep him to the right-hand side as long as possible. And then finally move to the left-hand side to keep him on the right. To give him a poor run through the turn. And now it's going to be a drag race to the line. He has not got a good exit. Well, I've uh, got 0% fuel now. As we come up to the finish, who is going to beat the other? Um, well, technically, we're... No one's going to beat each other because it was a dead heat. Um, but he actually got the position. I actually ran out of fuel about a millisecond before the line. I think that probably made the difference. So I, I lost a position there because of a tiny bit of fuel that I was lacking. I went up six positions though, so it wasn't a sixth, but six position gained. Now this was my next qualifying. And yeah, bottled it. Finishing 18th out of 19. Only one person bottled it even harder than I did. So we go again for another attempt not the best attempt we just had well it's okay from where we started but it's still 11th not good enough really as we come around again just skipping lap one because normally it's just a lap where everyone settles down and then people get close enough to fight towards the end of it as we are here looking up the inside of Dofra not going to happen there the GTR the big boy looking up nicely with that apex and the big group up ahead as a uh, we can kind of analyse just how close it is as I go really wide there. It's really close in these lobbies now because I think maybe last year, like middle of last year, I was normally um, racing a lot of these similar names, but I was always finishing, qualifying normally between about 6th and 12th in that kind of range, but then finishing around about maybe 4th to 8th, to normally finishing around there. But these days, the game has got really tough. I think um, everyone's kind of just stepped up their game to another level. And you can see that 
confirmation of that here as yes that's that's right I'm in dead last 19 out of 19 So I considered deleting myself, but I, I continued to fight another day. We're going to take a take another look at this race. Let's let's really rearm ourselves, go again, see if we can actually do something good, and not just not just sit down and take it. You know, being in 19th place, not good. Let's see how many positions we can make up from 19th. Up the inside of the Volkswagen again. He's left that space open. Maybe needs to learn that lesson. So we go back into 70. Oh no, this is lap number four now. And again, we're going to come into the pits at the end of lap number five. So one more lap from here. Someone goes in early, actually. GTR not with a good run. I actually go to the back of him there. Give him a bit of a boost. Annoyingly. Coming into turn one, though, we do have a bit of an overlap. You see just how quick this car is in a straight line. Up the inside we go. And we have the grip to meet the apex. And go through into 15th the GTR went wide there actually just looking back briefly so 15th place we're making some ground things are happening and we're gonna make more ground Kerr just uh, getting getting loose on the curb and it spins him round okay pit entrance can we get it right this time around we completely botched it last time there we go that's perfect that's how you do it and we've saved enough fuel so we didn't have to refuel there so this is really this kind of really shows you you kind of have to learn from your first race so you go into the first race oh i didn't save enough fuel or oh, my tires were completely shredded i didn't have the right right brake bias i was driving i was overdriving or whatever you have to realize what you're doing in that first race and correct it for this one and i did that apart from qualifying i qualified badly in the first race and i qualified even worse in this one so that's the main thing i didn't do or didn't carry over Okay, so we've got a BMW going very slowly here. Der Heiser. I'm going to slip up the inside, no contact. Look at that. Beautiful. As we come up the hill then, towards Druids, behind the Corvette, and slipping past the BMW. Into 13th. A good little run here. Gained six places from when we were in 19th. So I'll take that yellow flag. What's going on? Hopefully a, an 11 car pile up up ahead, and that will be the lead, but... Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and there was actually no one. I always, I always love seeing that yellow flag warning because normally you gain a position, but on this occasion, not quite. So we're going to whip it forward here, a bit of nitrous oxide to fast forward through the lap at hyper speed, and you can see here it's really getting bottled up behind who is this? Behind the Toyota 86, and the Alpha goes wide, slides past. I go past him. And then, out of nowhere, he just comes back. What the hell happened there? I think he had some nitrous oxide left over. Or the actual answer was, I think, the guy behind him in the BMW hit him and gave him a boost. But either way, that looked really strange. But we eventually get past him with a forceful pass. But again, no penalty, so it's obviously clean. And if we imagine if we had to go by the game's rules and actually decide if things were clean or not based on whether or not you got a penalty well that would be very stupid because that wasn't the cleanest of moves but um, by, the, by the game's judgement it was absolutely fine absolutely fine as we settle into 11th on the final lap again we find ourselves in a very similar position but this time we have potential to go where are we up into 8th maybe if it goes really wrong for the guys immediately in front of me Let's see if we can do that. What is going to occur here? It looks like the 86 has got it under control in the lead. It's got the Atenza big boy behind him. And then the Corvette looking up the inside over the grass into the final corner. That's both side by side. I was looking for the gap on the inside. I just hit his rear rear quarter panel. And now we're three abreast. The BMW's coming through. And I'm going to back off. I've run out of fuel anyway. And let the Atenza go ahead. So unfortunately that didn't really work out in my favour at all. Kind of botched it. I looked for the inside. There was a bit of a space because the Corvette made some space. The Corvette go, uh, got up into ninth, and then I languished down in 12th. But gained six positions again. 
But that's it for this uh, video. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. I'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Yeah.